Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and today is the day for shortcuts and uh, I will help you to remember the American writers and their works. So, first of all, shortcut is H.W. Langhorn which works are the Hyperion and the Psalm of Life. Sang the, uh, now the shortcut. What do you want to do? As much as I have written here, you have to read it many times. और जैसे आप 10 टाइम्स और 20 टाइम्स इसको पढ़ लेंगे आपको अपने आप ही सारी चीजें याद हो जाएंगी ऑलराइट यू विल यू वोंट नीड टू थिंक ओवर इट अगेन अगेन सो एस डब्ल्यू लैंगहोन सैंग द साम ऑफ लाइफ विद हाइपरियन और जब तक हो सके आप इन्हें कैपिटल में ही लिखना कहीं-कहीं मैंने uh, इन्हें स्मॉल लेटर में लिख दिया है बट आप इसे कैपिटल में ही लिखना ऑलराइट सो एस डब्ल्यू लैंगहोन सैंग द साम ऑफ लाइफ विद हाइपरियन S. W. Langhorn sang the Psalm of Life with Hyperion. Now next one. Walt Whitman was cutting the leaves of grass and writing songs of myself when America was singing. Or आप इससे इस तरह से भी बोल सकते हैं. America was singing and Walt Whitman was cutting the leaves of grass and writing songs of myself. America was singing and Walt Whitman was cutting the leaves of grass and writing songs of myself. So you will remember all these. Now the third one. In this video I will tell you three and then later we will be doing all these. Okay. And uh, later you will know. You will come to know that you remember all the works. Now next one is Ralph Waldo Emerson. Uh, his three works. The Nation Builder, Brahma and the American Scholar. Brahma called the immersion the nation builder and the American scholar, right? Or you can uh, just you can write down the American scholar Brahma, right? The American scholar Brahma called the Emerson the nation uh, the nation builder, or you can say Brahma called the Emerson the nation builder and the American scholar. So keep these on. two yesterday. And third one, okay, three we have done. Now we are going to learn these three. So the writers are American writers and uh, works are National House and the Scarlet Letter, the House of Seven Gables, and Elgar, uh, sorry, Ezra Allan Poe, the Haunted Palace, and El Dorado, Oliver Wendell Holmes, Break Table series, the Deccan's Masterpiece, and the Wonder One Horse. So we will be learning this like this. So first is uh, Nathaniel Houghton. So Houghton gives the scarlet letter in front of house of seven gables to his girlfriend. Okay. So remember, uh, just pictureize Houghton is standing with a scarlet letter in his hand and house of seven gables. So okay. So gables, uh, you don't uh, need to remember, but here is uh, you know uh, Houghton, and uh, in his hand he has. A uh, letter and he is giving it to the girlfriend and uh, there is a house okay here is a house and there is something seven are there all right so <clears throat> this is the pictureization now next one is visits El Dorado so uh, as a Alan Poe so Alan Poe visits uh, you know El Dorado and he sees here a haunted place palace sorry so he so that haunted palace now third one is here is Oliver Wendell Holmes and he is breaking this table and uh, here is uh, I have just named him horse Shay okay and he is so he is wonder he wonders why he is breaking that table so Oliver breaks tables in series that was Deccan's masterpiece and that was actually that was a masterpiece by made by Deccan's so hopefully you remember these all works if you like the video please do comment share and uh, now in another videos we will be doing all these american writers that later we can go for african writers so now three more writers you need to learn first is uh, james russell lovell and uh, the work is fountain so you will remember this one uh, by speaking again and again. James Russell Lowell started a fountain. So who started a fountain? James Russell Lowell. James Russell Lowell started a fountain. James Russell ne fountain. Fountain up yaad rakh sakte hain. All right. Ek uh, favara. Okay. So James Russell started a fountain. So here is James Russell and he started a 
fountain. Now next one is uh, Arthur Miller, death of a salesman and view from the bridge. So Arthur Miller is standing on a bridge and he is viewing means he is looking at and there is a salesman. How do we know it is a uh, he is a salesman? He has a bag here and uh, now he is looking at uh, salesman and salesman actually he died by drawing. So you can see here ye salesman hai jo ki mar gaya. और यहां से ये इसको देख रहे हैं तो ये कौन है आर्थर मिलर ओके सो आर्थर मिलर आर्थर मिलर्स वर्क्स आर डेथ ऑफ सेल्समैन एंड व्यू फ्रॉम ब्रिज नाउ नेक्स्ट वन ऑर्नेस्ट हैमिंग वे ओके बिड्स फेयरवेल यू विल से हियर बिड्स फेयरवेल टू आर्म्स आर्म्स मींस हथियार सो हियर आर सम आर्म्स सो ऑर्नेस्ट हैमिंग वे uh the old man and the sea so here is now ernest hemingway is an old man now and he is standing near the sea and he is uh, bidding farewell to arms so hopefully like the trick and if you liked don't forget to like and share the video with others and i'll be making some more videos for you uh at least uh, 10 to 12 writers i will complete from each and every a part of english literature so bye bye take care see you and good luck for exams hello everyone we are uh, here to learn some american writers and their works important works so we have total uh, 31 writers i have already made uh, three videos on this topic so here is uh, another shortcut we are uh, up to this one this writer okay we have done these all so this one John Steinbeck his two important works are is East of Eden and The Grapes of Wrath John Steinbeck was sitting in the east of uh, Eden and he was eating grapes all right so you can uh, see he is sitting here in east of uh, Eden and he was eating grapes now next shortcut for you is Henry James so here is henry james just try to pictureize this one and he was you know making a portrait of a lady so she is a lady okay she he is making the portrait of a lady on golden bowl so this is a golden bowl usin o'neil killed the hairy ape the usin uh, usin o'neil killed the hairy ape so people murdered him in rumog rumog is a place you can imagine okay so next one is tennessee william brought the glass menagerie tennessee william brought the glass menagerie you can remember this work like this herman melville ate moby dick moby dick is a fish so herman melville ate moby dick Herman Melville ate Moby Dick. So let me ask you, who was making the portrait of a lady on a golden bowl? Can you tell? Henry James. Now next one is who killed the hairy ape? Using a knife. So remember the name first, and then learn the shortcuts. It will help you in your uh, choosing MCQs. Bye bye take care see you in next video Hey everyone now today we have a new video uh, for shortcuts for english literature we are doing american english uh, literature and the most important writers with the help of shortcuts i have uh, chosen the important works so here is the 16th one we have already done four videos in the series now silvia plath uh, so now try to uh you know visualize the thing that silvia plath is standing there and she is looking in a mirror and there is a bell jar actually there is a jar which looks like a bell so now try to pictureize who is she she is silvia plath and she is looking at a mirror okay and there is a bell jar in the mirror now here if we are learning this Pablo Neruda that now these two works William C Douglas and uh, Pablo Neruda as works are here so one keeping quiet
So Pablo Neruda was keeping quiet when he came to know that William C. Douglas was a girl with a basket. Pablo Neruda was keeping quiet. So Pablo Neruda was very quiet. That's why he knew that William C. Douglas was a girl with a girl who had a basket with a basket. Alright, so you can relate. Now, Leo Tolstoy wanted war but not peace. Leo Tolstoy wanted war but not peace. Okay. ज्यादातर लोग पीस चाहते हैं वॉर नहीं बट लियो टॉल्स्टॉय ऐसे थे जिन्होंने जिन्हें वॉर चाहिए था पीस नहीं सो जस्ट ट्राई टू चैलेंज यू टू रिमेम्बर ऑल दिस थिंग नाउ हियर इज वन सेंटेंस इमली डिकिनसन हर्ड अ फ्लाई बर्स व्हेन शी डाइड सो इट विल बिकम आई शी सो इमली डिकिनसन हर्ड अ फ्लाई बर्स व्हेन शी डाइड एंड सेड और फिर उन्होंने कहा कि माय लाइफ क्लोज ट्वाइस बिफोर इट क्लोज सो एमली डिकिनसन हर्ड अ फ्लाई बर्स व्हेन शी डाइड एंड शी सेड माय लाइफ क्लोज ट्वाइस बिफोर इट क्लोज नाउ वी विल बी डूइंग अनदर वन सो वी हैव डन ट्वेंटी वर्क सो होपफुली यू रिमेम्बर ऑल दिस शॉर्टकट्स एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन चेक आउट ऑल दिस शॉर्टकट्स देर बाय टेक केयर सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक फॉर एग्जाम्स Hello everyone. Now today we are going to do some more works in American literature. James Fenimore Cooper wearing leather stocking. So the work, important work by James Fenimore Cooper is leather stocking tales. So आप लोगों को इस इस तरह से याद करना. James Fenimore Cooper wearing leather stockings. Stockings, you know, uh, socks, the long socks. Okay. Washington even ripped. So you can say the lesion of Sleepy Hollow ripped Washington Irving's eyes because he winked them. Rahat Mari. So the lesion of Sleepy Hollow ripped Washington Irving's eyes because he winked those. So Rip Van Winkle and the lesion of Sleepy Hollow. You will remember the names. Thomas Jefferson declared independence. Thomas Jefferson declared independence. Thomas Jefferson declared independence. Who declared independence? You will say Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Paine had no common sense, so America had crisis. Thomas Paine had no common sense, so America had crisis. Next one is Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin brought up poor richard sorry poor benjamin franklin brought up richard or you can say benjamin franklin brought up poor richard usne usse pala all right benjamin franklin ne poor richard ko pala okay atwood digges liked you can say loved adventure of alonso she went to alonso and did adventure there wo wahan alonso gayi thi kaun gaya tha alonso atwood digges Thoreau sings Walden, Walden, Walden. Thoreau sings Walden, Walden, Walden. Thoreau sings Walden, Walden, Walden. <laughs> you can remember in this way. I just remember this one. Okay, the next one is uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe hides in Uncle Tom's cabin. Harriet hides in Uncle Tom's cabin. Hopefully, you liked these all shortcuts, and now you have learned up to twenty-eight. Okay, so. Now, hopefully, it will help you to remember these things and uh, choosing in MCQ. We will be doing now African and uh, other writers too. Bye bye. Take care. Good luck for your exams. See you soon. Hello everyone. You are most welcome again on my channel. And today we are going to do all these three writers. We have already done, you know, twenty eight writers and their books. If you are just visiting first time my channel, you can check out other videos on the shortcuts. So now there are three. Now the last for American writers. Then we will be doing Canadian and African writers. Okay. So let's do these things. So Mark Twain has written three books: Life on Mississippi, The Adventure of Tom Sawyer, and The Adventure of Huckleberry Finn. So now pictureize this thing. Here is a man. Uh, his name is Mark Twain. So Mark Twain is uh, thinking about the life on Mississippi. Now he is planning for an adventure. अब वो adventure की एक planning कर रहे हैं. And he has two friends. One is Huckleberry Finn, and second is Tom Sawyer. So now he is going on uh, on an 
Adventure and with Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. Now, hopefully you'll remember this work. And for some, uh, the another idea to remember the works are, like if you uh, forget who has written uh, Gatsby, so put the Gatsby with the name of the writer, like F. Scott, F. Scott Gatsby Fitzgerald. Now read this, um, you know, 50 times or 100 times. Uh, F. Scott gets to be Fitzgerald. So whenever you will be speaking this name, F. Scott Fitzgerald, you will speak this one gets to be as well. So F. Scott gets to be Fitzgerald. Here, E.M. Passes Forrester. E.M. Passes Forrester. E.M. Passes Forrester. E.M. Passes Forrester. F. Scott gets to be. So in this way, you will never forget those works. So uh, this is uh, my shortcut. Hopefully, it will help you in your uh, journey to be a teacher all right so next video will be the complete video of all these works tomorrow i will upload that all right so thank you for being with me bye bye take care good luck for exams